Hi, and welcome to Module 7 on Virtue Ethics. Uh, this one is a little bit different than the previous modules. Uh, Virtue Ethics is one of the, probably, I would say of, after utilitarianism, deontological ethics, Virtue Ethics is probably one of the oldest approaches. I mean, it's clearly from Aristotle and Plato, so I mean, it's clearly very old. But it's also kind of one of the most widely studied uh, approaches to ethics, and so it is a, a fairly dominant or common one to study. The idea here is it's a little different than the others in that, for example, utilitarianism is really about what action do I take that's right? You know, is this the right thing to do or is that the right thing to do? It's about your actions. Whereas virtue ethics, on the other hand, is about your conduct. What is the right uh, way to conduct yourself in order to be a virtuous person? Now, there are some questions like what makes something virtuous? Why, what is virtue? Maybe that's different from person to person. Maybe it's universal. That's that's something that could be debatable. That's something that is is there with some un, with some certainty. But there definitely do appear to be different concepts of virtue. Um, but then the other issue is is that you know it's somewhat relative to the individual, which I kind of like in some ways. In that, for example, you know everybody has certain things they do better and certain things that they don't do as well. Uh, for example, I can just think of like, uh, in, uh, you know, like in a house, maybe in mine, uh, you know, like, uh, my wife, for example, is a lot more, uh, organized on a daily basis. You know, she likes everything to be in a certain place and wants it that way at the end of the day. Whereas, you know, I, I'm okay with it kind of being a little messier. I mean, I'm actually working in my, uh, home office, which is part of the utility room, which it actually looks completely different behind you. But, um, you know, this doesn't bother me that there's a mess back there, but that probably would bother her if this was her workplace for the day. She would want, you know, kind of that, she wouldn't want boxes and this uh, stuff piled around back there. And so what happens is, is perhaps she has, you know, she doesn't need to be more organized. Maybe I do. And so, you know, one thing that might make me more virtuous is to, work on organization, to work on doing these things. But for her, that's not necessarily an issue. So that wouldn't, she's already attained a virtue. She may be in fact at a, what we call a excess of organization. And in which case that becomes a vice. And whereas I have a deficiency of organization and that's a vice. And so the idea is that what I need to do to be virtuous, to be properly organized is to take time to pick things up, to organize, to do that. And what she may need to do is to avoid being overly strict on that and to let some things be messy once in a while. Um, I don't think that's really an issue, uh, you know, of any major proportion in our home, but that would at least be kind of the way it is. But it could vary from person to person. A person who is really, you know, exercise a lot, always up and going and, you know, uh, runs all the time and, exercises all the time, you know, if they want to park, if there's a spot right at the front of the store and they want to park there, you know, it makes sense. But if you're a person who doesn't exercise much, maybe it makes sense to park at the back of the parking lot and walk. Uh, you know, that would be perhaps one way to encourage yourself to be more active. And so those are kind of the idea is that it's about your conduct and what makes you a better person versus the idea that, you know, what's the right action in this specific situation? Is it parking here? And that's something that is true for everybody. Or is it really kind of dependent upon you and where you're at? So um, before I kind of let you loose on this, I'll also make note that on this exam, I have separated out the written from the multiple choice part. Uh, the multiple choice is going to have some questions from previous exams. Uh, most of the questions will be from the current exam and they'll be worth a little bit more. And then the written section this time, I decided I'm only going to do two questions, but I'm going to make them worth 10 points each instead of five. And I'm going to expect just a little bit more from them. So maybe write a little bit more. I'm going to give you 30 minutes to answer those two questions. That gives you a little bit more time to kind of think and give a little bit better answer. And I'm hoping that, you know, maybe you'll take a little more time to write and work on those. And that's sort of the goal on that. So please take note of that. Uh, please make sure to do both parts. And please make sure to kind of realize you have 30 minutes and to take that time to give a really good answer on those questions. All right, I think that's it.
Have a good one. If you ever have any questions or need anything, reach out.